Welcome back everybody that's been with us before. If you're new, welcome aboard. I know everybody's used to me being, you know, the funny guy. Uh, in my earlier videos, I was a little bit monotone or so I was told I might do that today because I want to get a little bit serious with everybody about something. I would like to talk to everybody about video games and if they are bad or, you know, are they not bad? There's been a lot of debate going around, and it's, you know, been years and years in the making, ever since video games first came about. You know, pe people have been saying, oh, video games are bad for kids, and, you know, video games are just bad in general. They've got all this blood and violence and sex in them. People, what we have to understand is it's not the video games that are necessarily bad. It's the choice that we make, mostly as parents. Parents have the choice to make. Do they allow their kids to play certain games? You know, when you see 8 and 12 year olds walking out of a store with Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row, that's a bad choice. It's not the game's fault that the child is playing it. That's on the parents. As parents, we have the choice to let our children play certain games. My 8 year old, there was a time when I would let him play stuff like Gears of War, but he only played the campaign. Now he only plays the Lego games, Minecraft, you know, stuff that's rated E, maybe a few teen titles as long as they're not too bad. Uh, we allow him to play the Halo Master Chief Collection because you know, Halo really isn't that bad overall and all he really does is go into Forge or the multiplayer with his friends that are his age and they goof around. It is on us what our kids are seeing and what they're doing. And, you know, sure, they might go to school and come back and say, hey, you know, mom, dad, my friend is playing Grand Theft Auto. I want to play it, too. At that point, it's us. We have to explain to them why they shouldn't be playing it. Their friends might be, but that doesn't mean they have to as well. You know, it, the old saying, you know, if your friends all jumped off of a bridge, are you going to follow them? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to follow anybody off of a bridge, especially if there's no water at the bottom. Now, I'm just going to stand at the top and laugh at them because they're stupid. So we really need to stop this whole thing about video games are bad, especially for kids. You know, me and my son, we spend time together on Minecraft. That's one of the things that we do together, other than, you know, I take him out for bike rides and stuff like that. He enjoys Minecraft. It's one of the biggest things he likes to play. I mean, he gets on YouTube and he watches videos and, you know, for everybody out there making Minecraft videos, you're welcome, because my son's the one making you all that revenue, because he watches those things day in and day out. But it's not the video game's fault. Companies can make what they want. I mean, let's look at it from a different perspective, all right? You're a parent. You're going to let your child play Grand Theft Auto. So at the same time, let's run to the gas station and go ahead and get your kid a pack of cigarettes because, you know, you're saying it's okay for them to do that bad stuff. If you don't agree with me on this, I'm really sorry. You know, I'm actually sorry for you because this is just how it is. Yes, video games can be bad. They can be violent. They can be bloody. They can have sexual content in them. But as a parent, it is your choice if your child is playing that or not. You know, they can't just walk into the store and say, I want Grand Theft Auto, and, you know, the cashier is going to hand an 8-year-old or a 12-year-old Grand Theft Auto. Well, any you know, decent cashier, a stupid one might. But you have to stop. You have to make the choice. You have to take the time to actually be a parent. Don't just sit back and go, oh, hey, you know, my kid's playing video games, so it's keeping them off the street and out of my hair. Well, you're not being a parent then. If all you're concerned with is keeping your kid out of your hair and out of your way so you can do what you want to do, why'd you have a kid? You're not being a parent at that point. You're just pretty much got somebody else living with you that you don't really care about. So take the time, be a parent. Decide what your kids can and cannot play. Explain to them why they can only play certain games. You know, if you have to, sit down and play the games with them. It's not going to kill you to play Minecraft with your son. I, can't, I personally can't really stand the game. But I play it with my son because it entertains him. He brings his friends in, and ah, speaking of which, there he goes right there. He's running around in my world, and I told him to wait a little bit before he joined, but he came in anyway. But you know what? I'm not going to have a fit over that because he just wants to play. He's an eight-year-old boy that loves playing Minecraft. I'm okay with that because it's a great game for children. 
Grand Theft Auto? No, you won't even find that game in my house. It is not allowed here because I made that choice to not allow my son or any of my kids to see that kind of stuff until they are old enough to make the choice on their own. At which point, it's on them. It is their life from there on out. When they're old enough to live on their own, you know, they can drive, they can go buy whatever they want. It's their life. It is no longer under your control. But until that point, you make the choices as an adult. You make the choices as that child's parent. Be it mother, be it father, grandparents. Let's start making the right decisions here and stop just going into Walmart or GameStop or Best Buy or wherever it is you shop. And, you know, your child throws a fit. Mommy, I want this. All my friends play it. Don't give in. That's what's wrong right there is that you give in. You are not disciplining the child and telling them no. You have to lay down the law. You have to make sure they understand why they can't play that type of game. Don't blame the video game companies. Don't blame the people that they're playing with. You know, because there's adults out there playing these mature rated games because that's who they're for. And these adults, not all of them have self-control. They're going to be cussing at each other and throwing a fit like a child. And, uh, yeah, that's another part that's wrong with the society, too, is that we throw fits at each other. We cuss at each other over a video game. But you're the one letting your child interact with these people. It's not the video game company's fault. It's nobody else. You need to step up. You need to take the blame. You need to take the responsibility. Sit down. Be with your child. You made the choice to be the parent. Now be the parent. Don't let other people you know, take over your child's life just because you're too damn lazy to do anything. If you don't want the child, you shouldn't have had the child in the first place. So I'm sorry if I've touched any nerves on this video, but this is something that had to be said. Oh, and there goes my son again. He's probably running around just waiting for me to play. Anyway, you know, for the people that agree with me on this, I'm sure there's a plenty of you out there that do. You know, go ahead and you know hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, get the word out there that it's not the video game's fault. It is you as the parents. Now, if you're not a parent and you know you're just a teenager that's going out and buying the game for yourself, then buddy, you know, girl, whatever, it's on you because you're old enough to make these decisions. If you're going out there and buying Grand Theft Auto because you know you're 17, 18 years old and you're like, oh, this game's so awesome, I'm gonna go try this in real life. You belong in a home, you know. You don't need to live on your own. You belong in a mental home with everybody else that can't think clearly on their own. Now, you know, the parents just start making the right decisions. Quit blaming everybody else when the reality of it is, is it's all on you. I'm stepping up. I took the responsibility. My son only plays E-rated games and a few T-rated games. No mature games for my kids. Can you do the same?